What up, y'all? It's Natertrons from Natertrons World, and today I am checking out this little Prius right here. Now, this is uh, not my Prius. This is somebody else's Prius, but I am uh, being paid to take the brakes off and put new ones on, and I'm going to rotate the tires for them. So, um, we're going to see if uh, you know a, a teenager can do that. Um, I, now, I, to be fair, I have done brakes before, but I don't think I've ever done them on a Prius. So this might be a new, a new thing for me. Probably not though. It's probably about the same. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. All right, good news and bad news. So bad news first. I uh, don't know how I'm going to be able to get that thing up on the jack because it's so low to the ground. But, good news is, my dad's about to be here. He's he's uh, He was coming over because he lives here. <laughs> so, whenever he gets here, I'm going to talk to him about it, see if we can figure something out. So, I'll get back to you then. All right, so here's where I'm gonna slow down the video a little bit, tell you guys what's really going on here. So, uh, the front and the back brakes are different. I should have shown you guys the front brakes truthfully so you would know, but uh, if I can get it open. Hello. There you go. So, here's the new ones. Let me show you one. Boom. This one's got a little squealer on it. This thing makes a big loud noise whenever you go to uh, brake. If uh, this brake gets too low and it needs to be replaced, the squealer will start making a squealing noise and it'll tell you you need new brakes. Are we keeping the squealers on? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you can take them off, you know, if you know when to replace them and not, but uh, a lot of people don't know or they ignore it. So the squealer makes a real loud noise and tells them when. So, you know, they don't just ignore it. It also, the squealer messes it up if you leave it on too long, right? Yes, and it tears the rotor up. Yeah, so if you, if you leave it squealing too long, it'll mess it up, which is another side effect of not changing your brakes, so. 
But uh, so we're gonna take, unscrew this, unscrew this. We're gonna take this little part off and set it up here. Take the brakes off that are in here, and then uh, we'll put in brake grease so the brakes move well. But whenever you put them in, you have to make sure that you don't get any on this part. Because if you get any on this part, they'll be slippery when they go to stop your tires. And that's not good. You want your brakes to be able to hold on well. So, uh, But you'll put it on these little parts right here that hold on to the actual uh, mechanical part of it. So they, you know, they push in and out well. Same with the other one. Uh, and we'll put it in where these screws go in right here. I don't remember exactly what that's for. I think it's for the same reason. But uh, yeah, so we'll we'll go ahead and get into that once he's done, making sure that these bolts are tight. Um, that's another thing. Whenever we go to put this part back on, we want to make sure these are tight, like really tight, because if they're not, they'll come off, and you don't want you obviously don't want your brakes coming off. So, all right, we're gonna get back to the time lapse now. So, on the back of this car, the emergency brake is right in the way of one of these bolts. So, uh, this is too long, it's bent. It's like, instead of being straight on, it's like, you know, so. Uh, he's gonna go grab a wrench real quick that'll fit on there and we'll get it from the side instead. Cause for these, you just gotta break it loose and then you can pull it right off, just like this top one. Now the issue with that is, you want to make sure that you don't pull it all the way out until you got both of them loose. Because if y'all pull this out and I try to break this loose, this thing is going to like move. So, there you go. I'll let it off. Okay. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to let the emergency break off. Huh? Yeah. Oops, I locked it. He's gonna go with the keys. Man, I don't know why I did that. Anyways, so, the emergency brake is right up against this thing right here. So, we're not gonna be able to pull it off because it's like, it's putting too much pressure on it. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to put off the emergency brake. But that should be fine since we have this whole right side up instead of, you know. And do not do this at home but right now we don't have any wheel chocks because they went missing. We don't know where they went. So don't do this at home. Usually we would have wheel chocks and it wouldn't be this bad. But there he is with the keys. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Gotta make sure you get up out the way. Hope you can see his little feeties in there. Springs. I don't know why. Yeah, so let's put up to the camera the old one versus the new one. Right, right in front of the mm. Here's the old ones. And here's the new ones. Oh my gosh. Now what we want to do is we want to match up the parts and make sure they're the same size. Okay. Yeah. Looks the same size. So we want to make sure the these are the same size. So they these fit. are the same size and all together the same. And then you're also going to check to make sure it's the same this way. You know, all matches up. Okay. But, yeah, you can see a, there's no pad left. Lord. Ran this through the ground. We're going to get another tool. Great. Oh. Um, Apparently, there's two different types, which I did not know. This one has a turn. So this is not going to do anything. We're going to have to get this 
uh, other tool to turn it. And unfortunately, this is in a weird spot because it's connected to two different parts. So, I guess we're just going to have to sit here and find out. There's another bug right here. Ugh! They dodged. Flew away. Should have seen it. It was fast. Oof. Yummy. Since we gotta wait to get that for him to find that part. Reason I'm not in there helping him look is because I have no idea where anything is in that garage. But uh, since he's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and put these brakes on. See one of them, they fit real snug in there. The back one you're not gonna be able to see. But it's the same, it's the same fit. It's the same fit. I don't know if you heard me when I turned around. Oh, bug, hello. Ran right into my face. Get, get up off my box. <clears throat> there was a bug on my box. All right. Now, I, I don't know about any of you, if you've seen a break before, before it's put on, but uh, this is bad. It's real thin, like a pop tart. So, these are gone, trash. So, you know, go ahead and get back to the time lapse. Off a tire or a wheel sorry it is very important that you do one thing right well you do two things really first of all first of all you want to make sure that you put them all on and then screw them all the way in if you screw one in all the way, go to the others, it'll be weird. And second of all, the more important thing is you have to do them in like a star pattern. Because if you do, yeah. So yeah, because if you if you just do them like this, then uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't do right. Uh, it'll slow this part down. All right, so got the back brake and the front brake for the right side. Got the tires switched around. It is important to what's it called again? Rotating the tires. Yeah, it's important to rotate the tires every once in a while, so they they work. They you know they wear good. What he said. So yeah. Yeah, because the front tires wear a little faster than the back tires, so if you switch them around, it, drive, well. yeah, if it was real wheel drive, it would be the other way around. And so if you switch them around every once in a while, then they kind of do it more evenly, so you, you'll you'll be able to replace them at the same time and just instead of just having to do one side. All right, guys. So when you're done with that side, then you just go ahead and go on the other side. Do the other side. It's as simple as that. Um that's that's really it you know you just go on one side you take the brake off you put it on it 
it's it's pretty simple honestly it's you know it's it's really something that people should learn how to do so you don't have to pay somebody a lot of money to do it or you could just pay me so you know anyways see you all in the next video Bye bye